Hey guys, and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play Honestly, part 2. So if you watched last week, you saw the, uh, the issues that I had with Celebrity Deathmatch on Xbox, and unfortunately I still can't get it to work. So to make up for the, uh, the technical difficulties, if you will, um, so I'm in another episode. Instead of doing it every other week, this one's going to be this consecutive week. We got Battle Stations on PS1. So let's go load this up and play a little bit. Alright, so hopefully this one doesn't end up having any issues while I'm playing it. Um, I actually got this one from a Video Games Monthly box a few months back. Um, still haven't gotten to check it out. So, let's uh, see what this is. So I'm just going to try arcade mode out. Um, I have no clue what kind of game this is. I never even looked at the back of the case. Um, so, I'm not sure. I might start shooting these without my glasses so I can get rid of this. Um, I don't. I guess I'll just go with the first one, see what happens. <clears throat> Interesting. Not what I expected at all. Uh, I'm probably going to have to pause this for the controls then. Can I ram them for damage? Nope. Alright, so we are going to be looking at the controls really quickly because I have no clue what to do. Uh, do I have the book menu? I do not. Alright, hopefully it's in the pause menu then. Yeah, um, I honestly, I expected a more enhanced version of like a battleship board game. Um, not expecting a, uh, a marine combat side screen fighter kind of thing. Let's go into options. You have to bear with me a minute. I don't want to just keep losing. I'd like to actually try to play the game. Not a controller. Drop bomb special. Attack. Ah, okay, so the circle button targets stuff. Squares defense. Okay. Alright. Battle stations. Excuse me, I just gotta check my phone really quickly. for the interruption. <laughs> Alright, maybe I can not suck at this one. I don't... Alright, because it's still... Okay, 
I'm actually finally doing some damage to him. So I'm not I'm not fully understanding how exactly you're supposed to kind of coordinate everything. Try the cruiser. See what happens. I'm sure the uh, the campaign mode actually kind of helps you out with that. taking damage. Okay, that was weird. It looked like I was still taking damage. I thought I saw my health bar drop after I defeated him. Okay. Let's try the battleship. Okay, so I'm kind of getting the hang of this. Um, I'm actually going to peek at the campaign mode now a little bit. Like I said, I wasn't really sure what to expect from this game. Obviously, never played it before. Whole point of this series, right guys? Um, so, let's see what the campaign does. Um, Alright, I guess I'll just go with the first one. Let's see how this is. No problem, no problem. Do 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 do. What's Oh, interesting. This is all different. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. A little like strategy map and then it goes into this. Holy shit, this one's a lot faster. This thing fucking cruises, Jesus. Let's see if I can loop in and cut them off. 
No. Why? Why? No. Come back. Just let me kill you. It's gonna happen. So, I would assume... We're underway. We're underway, oh, shit. Beginning, beginning. Nope, okay. I didn't realize I was gonna switch boats. Alright, so I will... do this one last fight. Holy crap, this is not gonna be fair. I feel like I'm gonna pack a lot more of a punch than he is. No, doesn't really look like it. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. That's, that's just unfair. That's just horribly unfair, but I like that they actually differentiate, you know, the size of the ship. It's not just every single boat is equal to everything else, so. Alright, well, we're going to throw this back over to the TV and talk about this, because this was a lot different than I expected what it was going to be. Okay, apparently I got into another fight. going to lose this one horribly. I don't even care. Yep. We're going down. We are going down Kesha style. Almost came back though. All right then. So yeah, that will be my last one. Um, I didn't realize I ended up getting into two fights, so they're gonna come up to me right there. Okay. Let's just see if we can stay safely over here. All right. That's chat. So I was definitely pleasantly surprised by this game. Like I said, I expected a kind of like third party alternate battleship board game kind of thing. Um, but having a, a naval combat fighting game, it, that's really cool. Um, I wish I'd thrown this thing in sooner, honestly. If I'd known that's what it was, it would have been in the day I opened the box. Um, like I said with Celebrity Deathmatch though, um, with this being a fighting game, there's not really a whole lot I can do about it other than be like, it's good or it's bad. So, this one's good. Um, I had a lot of fun with a little bit I played. I'll definitely be playing this a lot more on my own time. And again, this one might end up getting streamed on Twitch once in a while, too. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool game. Um, kind of glad that uh, Celebrity Deathmatch messed up a little bit, because i got to play this now. Um, so, again, I apologize for the issues that I had last week glad it didn't happen again. I hope it doesn't happen again in the future. Um, and I will see you guys next week for the actual full episode 16 of Let's Play Honestly. So, thank you for bearing with me with all the technical difficulties. Game on, guys. See you next week.